Hey guys, happy Vlogoween. Um, so I'm participating in a tag. It is a, it was actually a 30 question tag. I kind of shortened it to 15 questions because you guys know about my time limit here on YouTube and I can talk a lot longer. So I kind of just took half of the questions. Um, all right. So the first question it says is what is your favorite Halloween themed song? Um, and for me, that's pretty easy. I like the Monster Mash. Um, I also, if you count, I don't know. Maybe that doesn't count. It's not exactly Halloween. I love the Twilight theme music. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. That's my ringtone right now for the month of October. So uh, I love that. I also love Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, one, two, Freddy's coming for you. You guys remember Freddy Krueger? Three, four, you better lock your door. Five, six, get a crucifix. Seven, eight, you better stay up late. Nine, ten, you'll never sleep again. I love that. That used to like totally haunt me as a kid. I was like, oh my god, I'd be laying in bed and this song would be going through my head. Woo! So, okay, um, number two. What is your favorite monster or villain? Um, that's pretty easy. I like Jason. Jason Voorhees um, from Friday the 13th. You know, Jason in his ski mask, that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, I think he's my favorite. Um, what are your favorite Halloween movies? Ooh, oh, lordy. Okay, there's Practical Magic, um, Hocus Pocus, Disney's Halloween Town. I even love that. Um, what was that show on uh, The Good Witch? The Good Witch uh, on the Hallmark Channel. It's on there all the time. Um, the Worst Witch. You guys remember that? It's so old and so corny, but so cute. Um, let's see. I put down Halloween, the original Halloween. Um, the original Carrie. Really like Stephen King's Carrie, but only the original version. I don't really care for the second one. Um, Poltergeist. That was a good one, the first one. Um, I don't like part two. Yeah, but the, the original one. I used to worry about my TV then. Christine. Um... Uh, Friday the 13th, of course, which is kind of cheesy now, but looking back, you know, scary then, so it was okay. Okay, um, plus I grew up, like, watching Chiller and Twilight Zone and, um, Tales from the Dark Side, and I was probably a crazy kid, I can't think of it, but, um, I would beg my parents, like, to watch that, so, um, and then I kind of progressed, I guess, to Night of the Living Dead and stuff like that, but, oh, memories. Anyway, okay, number... What is that? Number, okay, number four. Do you ever see figures in your peripheral, peripheral vision? Um, yes. <laughs> also see things on, like, the road, or if we're driving down the road, drives my boyfriend insane. Um, animals, or sometimes people, um, but I'll feel like they're crossing the road. I'll be like, oh my god, you're gonna hit the car. And there's nothing there. <laughs> like, you know, I don't know. So, I think... This is my analysis. That it's kind of like an imprint of their energy. Maybe they've been killed there or something or a deer's been hit. And even though it's not there now, some kind of energy field is left over. And that's what I see. That's my version anyway. Okay, um, number five. Have you ever made a potion of any sort? Um, yes, many times. Um, my sidewalk is probably still stained. It was stained for years. I'll have to go look and see. Um as a kid, I used to, I had all these potion bottles and things like that, and I would mix up Kool-Aid and put grass in there and just random things, and my dog would be my assistant, and um, so I would pour out things and chant things and random things, so yes, I made lots of potions, so um, have you ever, well, sorry, wrong question, um, do you get scared easily? Uh, yes and no. Um, like, I still shut my closet door. Like, I cannot sleep with my closet door open, even if it's cracked. Because this one movie for, or episode from Tales from the Dark Side, um, something came out of the closet. And so I'm always scared it's, like, going to get my feet or something. Some little, it was this little creepy thing. Um, but, uh, no, I don't really think I scare easily. Um, kind of a big scary cat, kind of not. I don't know. I love horror movies. I love to watch those things and do those things and participate and go on um, haunted walks and, you know, haunted tours and, um, you know, I would, I would love to be a paranormal investigator if I could. I think that's very interesting. Um, so, I don't know. I guess I'm scared, but yet it intrigues me. So, 
Okay, um, have you ever played Bloody Mary? Yes, um, in the fifth grade, I was in middle school, junior high, whatever you call it, and um, we would play Bloody Mary in the girls' bathroom. It was like, you kind of go down the, I don't know, to the catacombs or something. It's ancient school. It's torn down now, but um, we would go in there, and then we would all run out screaming and scared and all that stuff, uh, but it was, it was a creepy place back in the day, so. Uh, if you could wear one Halloween outfit for the rest of your life, what would it be? I would be witching it all the way, girl. Oh, yes. All right. Um, what were some of your favorite Halloween costumes? Uh, a witch, of course. Um, take this bracelet off. Um, a Statue of Liberty. I was, had my little, what do you call it? The torch held up and draped in. Yeah, anyway, it's a long, long time ago. Uh, I was a little granny once. That was pretty cool. I guess that was about it. Uh, oh, a little Red Riding Hood. I was her once. That was pretty cool. Um, I really wanted my own wolf, which is kind of the next question. Um, if you could have one spooky Halloween pet, what would you pick? Definitely, definitely a wolf. I would love someone to howl at the moon with me and that kind of stuff. So I think having a wolf would be awesome. Um, plus, they're kind of close to dogs. So, yeah, I love dogs. Um, if you were dared to spend the night in a haunted house, would you? Oh, yeah. Totally. Um, I, like I said, I love haunted tours. Um, I've done all the, the regular things, like the haunted tours in Tennessee and in New Orleans and in... Ooh, there's that mat again. Um, uh, Savannah and... Um, Oh, what's that little place? St. Augustine, um, uh, and local tours, and, um, gosh, where else have I been? Um, uh, I don't know. Anyway, but I've done tons of those. Uh, one was more of a, an investigation with, you know, your EVP equipment and things like that. That was kind of interesting. Um, I've caught a few orbs and things like that. Um, what was that question? What am I going on about? Oh, anyway, yes, I would totally spend the night in a haunted house. Um, I watch all the ghost shows and things like that. Um, some of them are pretty cheesy and get on my nerves, but there are a couple that, that I like. Um, unfortunately, those rarely come on, but uh, yeah, I think that would be very interesting. So, Okay, do you believe in multiple dimensions or worlds? Um, kind of, yes. I, I guess I believe that the veil between... The worlds are very thin. Of course, you know, we all know that this time of year especially, but um, I think it's, I don't know, the other side people talk about, your loved ones, whether it's, you know, um, a, a peaceful death or a traumatic death or things like that. Um, I think they leave energy here. Sometimes some things are trapped. Some things are just unexplained, um, you know, and so... I guess, yes, um, different dimensions, kind of. I don't really call it that, but I just believe things are not so far away, we just can't explain them. Some things have been explained scientifically that were, you know, doomed to whatever back in the day. Um, so I think there's a lot of that. Um, but, and I kind of like uh, thinking that the veil between the worlds are thin, so. All right, so the next question. Here. All right, you're home alone, but you hear footsteps in your house. What would you do? <laughs> um, hmm. I am super hyper about my dogs, so I would run and check and make sure my dogs were okay. And then, I don't know, I might hurl my cell phone at them and run away. Because um, <laughs> I, I have that with me all the time, so hey, good weapon. Um, are you superstitious? I don't know. I own a black cat, but I don't know. I, th I think if a black cat crosses in front of me, I don't really think much about that. Um, I don't know. Uh, 15, what is your favorite Halloween candy? Ooh, I don't know. Candy apples, for sure. Uh, we used to bob for apples and things like that at my birthday parties. And then, because um, I was almost, almost born on Halloween. I tried to get here. I was just a little slow. Um, so I made it the next day on November 1st. But, um... So I always kind of had some Halloween themed birthday parties and things so growing up, so I, I was totally into that. Um, but we would bob for apples, and then um, later we had like a little station 
uh, where we made candy apples, and I just thought that was the coolest thing. I still love candy apples. Um, maybe I should do that on video, some black candy apples or something. Um, let's see, the other one, oh, white Tootsie Rolls. Oh, my gosh. You know, you know, you get the bag of the mixed Tootsie Rolls. Oh, I love the vanilla ones, the white ones. That's probably, probably my favorite. All right, so I challenge all of you guys watching this, if you have, do videos, to please do this tag and answer these 15 questions. I would love to know these about, um, the answers about you. So, and are you as crazy as me? And I don't know. So, all right, guys, I hope you're having a great night, and I will talk to you later. Bye.